The progress from basic research in the application of technology and into the clinical translation for cancer patients has been astounding. I had just found out that this cancer was in my lungs and my liver and my kidneys. And then two hours later, I find out I have three or four weeks left to live. The breast cancer had metastasized to at least two other parts of the body. I really thought this is a death sentence. I quickly regrew tumors after that. That was really, really bad news. The average for, for metastasized bladder cancer is about 14 months. We're beginning to recognize the ways that we can interpret genomic data to indicate just exactly what drugs to use. After all the radiation and chemo were done, I took a targeted therapy drug until August. Nine months later, and he said to me, what was there is essentially gone. My oncologist said, there is a clinical trial for people with triple negative breast cancer. Immunotherapy plus chemotherapy once a week for the last four years. Now, four years sounds like a long time, but when I was diagnosed with the second cancer, they thought I would live 18 months. She said, I did notice one pathology report that noted some genetic issues. Would you consider taking part in a clinical trial? Well, uh, yes, of course I would. There were tumors that I could feel with my fingers. After four days, I couldn't feel those tumors anymore. We've had such tremendous success with it. We started it July 6th, and we went back a month later for her first round of imaging, and the tumors were cut by half. The clinical trial at NIH was great. That put me in a complete and full remission for the first time since my original treatment. I've been taking erdafinum since I started the trial in 2016, and the tumor has not grown. She had this new solution that had just been approved by the FDA. And here I am, but you can't see it, it's like a miracle. I started a new drug, a daily oral medicine my scans show no progression. If you can have that, what more can you ask for? There are numerous clinical trials now that functionalize mutations in ways that has never been done before. Now, they have so many new mutation tests and they're being treated by targeted therapy drugs. A lot of patients don't have to have chemo or radiation at all. When people meet me and they know I am a 12-year survivor, it gives them an idea that maybe they can survive this as well. I would preach to others to reach out for any opportunity they have to get prehab. Take the opportunity to improve your health before you have your surgery or your treatment so that you can be stronger to recover. I'm great now. Getting that complete remission really makes you stop and think and appreciate every day you get. To me, cancer research was important because it offered me a clinical trial that saved my life. And now what I'm seeing is cancer research is moving on and providing other people like me the opportunity to survive. Every one of us knows someone that has cancer. The only way that we're going to find the answers is through funding the research. Federal funding is critically important. We continue to find new and better ways to study cancer and new and better ways to interpret those data into therapeutic answers for patients. We can really drive the fight against cancer forward. My belief is that Congress can spend enough money when it comes to cancer research. And the UPS type of programs need to be more accessible to more people. That funding is one of the most surefire ways of getting there. Cancer research is one of the most important things that you could put your money behind. So do that. This is about hope. It's hope for people who didn't think they had a chance, and now they have a chance.